and how are you? This is me back again. <laughs> Switch back to me. <clears throat> that was a little flash of my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, which I'm going to talk from tonight. Hi, thanks for joining me. Uh, welcome to my scope. I always invite my folks who are coming for the first time, please give me your name, where you're from, if you get a chance to. And I do welcome lots of hearts because it's going to be a deeper conversation about respect. And uh, yeah, and some friends I know, some friends of mine will be jumping on very shortly because they're getting off their own scopes. So it's going to be quite a roundtable conversation because I do love the interaction of comments, especially when it's questions or solutions or even additive to what we're saying. So to begin the conversation, my name is Barry Selby. I am known. Let me just do that a little bit. There we go. Hi, Rachel. Nice of you to join me. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm known as the Love Confidant, also known as the Love Doctor, and my clients know me as the Heartbreak Repair Specialist because I specialize in helping, particularly women, heal their hearts so they can love themselves again and attract what they want in relationships. Men also, when they are willing to do the work, because I know being one of them, we didn't always choose that easily. So, again, my name is Barry Selby. I am the author number one best-selling author of 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. It's a book on Amazon. You can get it yourself. That's the cover. And I'm going to talk about chapter 12 tonight. Um, I wasn't planning and I'm not going to do a sequence like one every week from my book, but this topic came up today in a conversation and I want to bring it to the table here, which is about respect. So, um, yeah, because I'm actually doing another scope shortly on a periscope tip that ties into this, so this is going to be an interesting thread. So thank you for joining me again. Please send me hearts, let me know if you like what I'm saying, or if you just let me know I'm around because hearts are good. I do have a website, it is barryselby.com, makes it easy to find. Um, I basically have been lucky enough to get pretty much every single thing in social media under my own name versus pseudonyms or other things. I guess my name is not that common, which isn't a bad thing. So Facebook, Twitter, social media like Instagram, etc., and here on Periscope, and on my website is Barry Selby, so easy to find me. Um, so the topic this week is from chapter 12, which I can find in here. Sorry, I didn't have the book page bookmarked. And as I mentioned, or I should say in the title of this periscope, I talked about respecting yourself. So here's the lead into chapter 12 for you to think about as I begin to talk about this. If you don't respect yourself, your partner won't either. They reflect your self-image. If you honor yourself, they will too. Now, I'm not going to read the whole chapter because that will get into a lot deeper and you can get the book yourself and read it too. But why am I talking about this? Whether you're single or in a relationship, this is relevant because the opportunity in relationship is the reflection of your partner. I mentioned in my scope yesterday about the mirror effect of your relationships and consciously or unconsciously, that happens. So you will find out by the mirror reflection of what's happening around you and it happens in life, period. So. You generally, and this, is, this takes a, um, a leap for some people to get into the understanding of how life works, but your, your environment reflects back to you who you are and what you're being. It's true immediately with your immediate relationships because that's the one closest to you. So if you don't respect yourself, they won't respect you either. In fact, you may not know you're not respecting yourself. And what about him? He's up in Alaska right now, I believe. In fact, Obama's with him, I think, at the moment. I'm not sure. Um, the respect piece is key. And it's true of other things too, about loving yourself, about being feeling worthy, all those things, because they'll be reflected back to you by your partner. This is the challenge of relationships. If you take them seriously, I do. And most of my clients do, because they want a relationship that supports them in where they want to go, and they're willing to see what doesn't line up. So self-respect is key. And, so I want to be careful on the line we walk through on this journey, I don't mean arrogance. For some people, respect seems to be, hello, for some people, respect seems to be having a self-arrogant um, way of being that demeans other people. And I've seen it around some of my friends, used to be friends, who haven't got it, the fact that respect is about honoring who you are, respecting who you are and what you're doing, so that when you're with somebody else, you don't suffer um, subjugation unconsciously to who they are. But also you don't dominate them and make them feel worse because self-respect respects others. So self-respect is a key value. Um, no, that's not my, my work. Sorry, I'm a relationship coach, not a business coach. But I'm sure you find stuff in California if you look in the right places. But 
sorry, no, it's not my own thing. Thank you for agreeing um, with what I was saying. Two tracks here. So, self-respect is a vital ability to love yourself, to live with yourself, and to be the best person you can be in the world. Again, not arrogance, autonomy. Um, sad, how so? You are, or you just don't? Or, uh, sorry, second track. This is the topic I'm talking about. If you want to stay here and watch this, great. If you're looking for someone to help you with work, there are other places to go, and that's not my area. I'm sorry, can't agree with that. Self-respect is a pivotal point. It was something that changed in my life many years ago when I realized what I was not doing for myself. And I've seen it with my clients and with friends, and it happens to a lot of people on this planet. We tend to value ourselves based upon, thank you for all the hearts, I love it. You tend to, we tend to value ourselves based upon the outside environment. So if we're not getting what we think we need from what's around us, we don't feel good about ourselves quite often. This is an error in approach. It really comes back to, hey Michelle, <laughs> enough time with Blab, now you're over here. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time, that was hysterical. Okay, back to respect. It comes back to loving ourselves. Hi. Um, yes, thank you, self-image every time. Because it's not about what happens around us, it's about what happens in us. If we respect ourselves, our environment will change. If we love who we are and respect who we are, what happens is our perception shifts. So instead of looking for excuses to feel bad based upon what's around us, we start looking for what works for us around us and it builds up who we are. It supports our growing and our learning and our evolving. So self-respect is a pivot point for successful living, period. Whether it's in career, as mentioned, somebody mentioned about looking for a job, or in relationship, or around money, or around your spiritual community, or anywhere, frankly. Because we tend to fall, fall prey to a certain thing in life, a trap called comparison. So again, comparison. When we compare ourselves to other people, we have three choices. To think that we're better than them, worse than them, or the same as them. The truth is, none of those are accurate. Because we're all unique. So to try and compare yourself with somebody else is a guaranteed trap. So I recommend you come back to who you are. And I have practice I work in my clients. I was actually talking to somebody today because they're going through some stuff. And I said, look, here's the thing. Because they're dealing with appreciation challenges. And I said, start with the mirror. Because the number one person you do this with is yourself. Even in relationship. Because as I mentioned in my scope yesterday, we fall in the trap sometimes of that codependence where we think we have to do things for the other person instead of ourselves. That's not healthy. So you start with loving yourself by respecting who you are, doing things like spending time looking in the mirror and saying, sorry, just to make sure I came back again, I guess dropped off, dropped back on again. Um, looking in the mirror and to talk to yourself in a very positive, inspiring and supportive way. These are not ego boosts, these are self-esteem restorations because some of us have had our self-esteem battered by past relationships, past family upbringings, past experiences. So respect, self-respect is vital for your own self-esteem and also for what you want to attract in relationship. Restoration exactly. So how you are in the world is largely based upon how you are inside. Now there's a lot more I can talk about this because this is a big topic in terms of inner world, outer reality. Um, or actually in reality our experience is one way of putting it because we are all unique um, beings, individuals as I said earlier we can't compare with other people because we're not the same we're different, unique individuals, separate and apart from them that means that we're also unique in the world which means every one of us is needed so if you've had doubts about that get off it it's truly your own volition, vocation, love of who you are that drives everything else around you. And in fact, your version of the world is unique to you. So you get to change it. If it's not where you want it to be, how it wants to be, you can love it up and live it up and be more evolved in your own life. So this thing about self-respect plays out in so many different ways. Hi Veronica, nice to see you here. Thank you for joining me. And particularly in the area of relationship, because I really value my clients learning how to love themselves. As I mentioned at the beginning, my title is the Heartbreak Repair Specialist, and a large part of that work is to help women remember who they are. Hi. It's how to remember who they are. So by remembering that, they build their own self-esteem and their self-love and their respect for themselves. Because for many of them, they've been carrying a wound from a past relationship where they weren't respected. 
In fact, they were probably, sorry, probably they were in the experience I've had, feel crushed underfoot in a way. Whether it happened or not, what they carried inside after that relationship is what is important because that's what's driving their present way of being. And that's where their heart hurts from. So, again, this is chapter 12. For those joining a bit later, this is chapter 12 in my book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover. One second. This book, it's on Amazon. You can get your copy yourself in physical form. It's also in Kindle, by the way. Although, personally, I like the physical one because it's one, it's, it's thicker, it's got more you know, heft. But secondly, also, it's laid out in a structural way that in the Kindle book, it flows weird. And personally, I'm not very happy with that. It doesn't affect my respect for myself, but it does affect the book layout. Um, sorry, I had to do a little one, on, one of the sideways ones. So let me come back to this again, one, one more slant and one more place. For many of my clients and friends, thank you, they're looking for love. And I have a joke about that, which is not pleasant, but it's just looking for love in all the wrong places because they're looking for something out there to make them feel better. And I've said that on two or three of my previous periscopes, so I'm not going to go back and cover that. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's also nice because you can write in it. It's got actually note pages between the chapters to make it easier to keep track of where you are, which you can't do on Kindle. At least I don't think you can. Maybe the new one you can make notes. I'm not sure. Anyway, back to this. As I said on previous periscopes, we have this thing about looking for someone else to make us feel better. That's also an indication that your self-respect needs a tune-up. Um, good to know. I don't have a Kindle, so I can't explain that. I have the, I have the app on my computer on my phone. It doesn't let me do updates on it, so that's the way it is. So back to this thread again. See, Michelle, you know it, and I know this thing about how we get off track on our um, scopes when we were attempting to stay true to a course, and I'm attempting that well, kind of, so far. I appreciate the hearts, by the way. Thank you for that. No, don't worry about it. It's, it's part of the, the game and the fun and the exploration of Periscope that it becomes interactive. Again, this is not a YouTube video that we just record and send out. This is interactive, so Michelle, no problem. This is what we are playing with. You know what we did that earlier with Blab, that whole experience. It's a big experience, an experiment too. So, let me rewind one second. <laughs> it is, it's fun. Um, our focus truly should be centered here before we look it out there. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this is not about ego boosting. This is truly about self-respect and self-support. Because that is what, one, allows us to love somebody without feeling like they're going to fix us. And two, makes us more attractive. Let me drop that one again. When we have self-respect, honoring who we are and respecting ourselves from a heart place, not from a head place thinking I'm special, better, or anything else, we become more attractive. If you're looking for a relationship, isn't that a good thing? <laughs> I'm being kind of blunt about this, but it's the way it is. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I'll catch you later and we'll be talking more, I know, because we have lots of work to do yet. Thank you, Michelle. Um, and thank you for the agreement. Yes, so that's why I believe self-respect and self-love and all the other pieces of the self things, self-confidence, self-approval, self-support, are vital for you as an individual, whether you're single or not. When you have that place firmly inside where you trust yourself, you respect yourself, and you appreciate who you are, then a relationship out there won't shake that. It can emotionally upset you if it doesn't work out, but it won't shake that because you're solid in who you are. That's what self-respect is about. It's that recognition that who you are is valuable. Who you are is deserving, and who you are is worthy of respect because you respect yourself. That also will change the quality of the relationship you attract. Now, on the other side, if you're in a relationship where that's not happening, where you're not getting respect from your partner, there's two things. First of all, you may not be respecting yourself because you've bought into a situation or you fell into a trap that doesn't support who you are. But secondly, you're probably in a relationship that isn't helping you either. So it may be an opportunity, I should say it may be a requirement that you step out, that you leave the relationship. If you're not being respected by a partner, yes, you want to be respected so you can't fix that unless they are workable and amenable because they may have forgotten to or gotten off track somehow because they were so in their own work. But most of the time that's because it never happened in the first place. We, sent, we, sold a, we sell ourselves um, short and we go into a relationship lower than we really are. We, should, we, we basically play smaller to be in a relationship. I mentioned that in a scope a couple of days ago. It's a trap because what we're doing is confining ourselves like a pretzel in a relationship that's not meant to be for us because we think something is in there we can get. Not true. 
self-respect, key. So I've covered enough of this to give you some ideas to think about. Thanks for all the hearts. I appreciate that. And thank you for joining me on the scope. If you want to find out more about my work, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to get off and do another one in 15 minutes. I'm doing two scopes today. Uh, one is on this theme, which is my work, and one of them is about Perry Tips. I'm doing, I'm starting to launch a new series of Periscope Tips for the new broadcasters who want to learn how to do it. So if you're watching now or if you're watching the replay, catch me in 15 minutes, 6.30, I'll be doing that. But back to this scope before I leave. If you want to find out more about my work, as someone asked earlier on my website, it's barryselby.com. If you want to do a if you want to have a discovery session to find out how I can help you, please do that. There's a consult button, or you can just go straight to barryselby.com slash consult. And I'll happily sit with you and talk with you by phone or in person if you're local in Los Angeles. And I'll help you get where you want to go. Um, I do have coaching programs, packages, sorry, I have coaching packages and online programs that can help you get what you want. Um, my work is this in the world to help you get what you want in relationships for the ladies particularly because they are needing the support if that's it I don't think there's any questions I haven't seen any on the post so thank you for joining me I appreciate you being here oh thank you and let me just repeat since you just jumped in um, watch the replay because I'm not going to go back and restart this but I hopefully will have you get a chance to watch the replay online I do keep all my scopes on um, catch.me with a K K-A-T-C-H dot M-E um, slash Barry Selby. So if you want to watch any of my previous ones, you can find them there. But this scope will be running for 24 hours as Periscope does do the 24-hour cycle, like a new cycle on CNN, only different because it, it's better. <laughs> um, this is better. Please come and watch the rest of this. Go back and watch the beginning of this on review. And again, all my other ones are on catch.me slash Barry Selby. Thank you for watching this one. I'm going to get off this one and do another one at 6.30. That one's a whole different theme. Um, there's going to be a couple of Perry tips that I've been feeling I need to tell some folks who are still learning how to use this format named called Periscope. So that's it. Thank you again for watching. Um, by the way, I want to play this, say this now. Actually, two things. There's this, I've been finding out about this heart thing. Apparently, it's a ranking system. Now, I know most of us, like I'm not even at 10,000, which is a lot, sounds like a lot, but it's not when I know some people up there got 60 million hearts. I saw someone today like that, and I'm going, okay, that's incredible. They are probably a, they're a YouTube rock star, I think, so they're way up there in the rankings. However, I love the idea of getting hearts. So if you watch the replay or we're watching live on anybody's um, scope you like, do them a favor and tap the screen continuously and give them hearts. Apparently, this is the, the rule of the land. You can give up to 500 hearts per uh, um, participation. So you're watching the replay. You can watch it five times and give 500 hearts five times if you wanted to, or live the same way. So thank you for that. I appreciate that. Um, I, I did it with a friend of mine like, on her scope. She did it on mine. She gave me 1,500. I gave her 4,500, thinking, oh, great, I'll give her so many. And it capped at 500. So just so you know, don't go over 500. It's not worth it. But thank you for supporting us, new entrepreneurs, speaking on Periscope and putting out good information, hopefully. And I will be on again tomorrow. I'm planning on doing 6 p.m. Pacific time every day on my um, Log Doctor scopes. And I'm still I'm just starting today with the Perry Tips, which starts in, in about 10 minutes. That may I go earlier in the day. I'm not sure. I'm still discovering where to put that in my flow. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Periscope. And my website, again, is barryselby.com. A bunch of videos, audios, and programs and products there. Okay? Thank you again. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful Saturday night and a holiday weekend, by the way. This is, this is Labor Day. Enjoy your weekend and take care of yourselves out there. It's a great place to play. Bye.